we always look at our crops above ground as we drive by the fields or walk through the fields, but I wanna challenge you on your farm this summer to look below ground and start with a root dig to analyze how your crop is doing. One of the things a lot of people don't realize is for as much mass as there is above ground, there should be that much mass below ground. So think about your enormous corn plants. Some of them might be 12 feet tall. Well, there's that much stuff going on below ground too. If you aren't seeing that much stuff below ground, something is probably wrong. Also, when you dig down below the surface of the soil, you can look for a number of different things. It's not just how many roots, it's the health of those roots. It's what else is happening down in your soil. Everything from moisture, compaction, different soil layers. You have lots of things to look for, and it's a lot of times eye-opening when you do these root digs. The cool thing on the farm now that you have a yield monitor is you can compare different areas. And you see, even within a field, where you got basically the same amount of rain from one side to the other, you see the yield monitor go from 240 bushel corn to 140 bushel corn to maybe 300 bushel corn. And you say, well, what's going on out there? This is one of those tools that costs you literally nothing. Just go out and dig a little bit and see what's going on below the ground in those areas. If you've got that 300 bushel corn area, maybe it's due to really high fertility, but it also might be due to great soil structure and soil health below the ground that you may be able to identify by also digging in a poor area of your farm to see, oh, you know what? I got some compaction out there that I just haven't addressed. I don't know what that issue may be for you. Maybe it's poor soil microbial life like Brian was talking about, so you don't have much for root hair development. The only way to figure that out is to do a little bit of digging. Now there are two ways to do this. Either you can take a shovel out there and manually dig up a few plants and just look at their individual roots. Personally what I like, at least to do a couple of times on the farm each year, is drive my skid steer loader right into the field, tear up just a little bit of crop, get off the end rows, and dig down four or five feet. When you do that and you can visually step into this pit and you go, wow, I'm actually seeing now what's happening in my field, I personally think that is far more educational than almost anything you could do. Now the first time Darren and I did this, it was probably 25 years ago, we did this on one of our dad's farms. And of course, our dad was, he, he was a little bit of a tightwad. So he was all worried about, oh, we tore up a thousand plants. And I said, dad, here's 10 bucks. Okay, a plant is worth like a penny, maybe two cents. That's it. So it doesn't cost you much money to rip up a thousand plants. Who cares? You're going to learn so much and we're only doing this in one or two spots on the farm. So it's no real big deal. Don't get too worried about tearing up a few plants. What you're going to see is really going to vary depending on your farming operation. For example, for us, we do a lot of strip tillage. I'm very interested to see what happens when we get our plants right over that strip. What happens when we're a little bit to the side? What happens when we put our fertility down at the bottom of that strip or spread it throughout? I want to do some analysis on our farm just to see, you know what? Maybe this is why we're getting a 10 bushel yield response changing our practices just a little bit. Now that I look below ground, it makes sense to me and I can see, hey, we've got much better root development if we just do it a little bit differently. For example, if we're mixing our fertility throughout that furrow, a lot of times we get a great looking root system up top and if that corresponds to more yield, I'm gonna change my practices and do it all that way. The first root pit that we ever dug was unbelievably eye-opening, and I just wanna tell you the story real quick. So it was about 25 years ago. We had what we considered drought that summer. Our corn was kind of burning up a little bit. We dug this root pit down about five, maybe even six feet down in the ground, came back the next morning. There was water standing at the bottom of the pit. The corn was dying up above. There's water down at the bottom of the pit, and I'm going, huh, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I somehow need to connect these two things. And what we found is a lot of compaction in between. That was what really spurred us to say, we have to make some adjustments here. We've got to get these compaction layers addressed, get those roots going down deeper because there's moisture down deeper. There's no reason for our corn to be burning up right now other than mismanagement on our own farm. There's certainly a lot of things you can invest big money in on the farm and some of those things can give you a really good return on investment. But what we're talking about today is something that really doesn't cost much at all. If anything, just takes a little bit of time to do a little digging on your farm and see what's happening to the other half of the plant that you're not looking at all the time, the half that's below ground. 
Well, one of the things you're going to find when you are out in your fields, unfortunately, is weeds. And I hope you don't find our Weed of the Week. But if you do, we'll tell you how to control it coming up next.